What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Now let me start off by asking you a question. How much money did you spend on food last month? Now, if you're able to answer that question, then props to you. You must be very in tune with your personal finance, you must be tracking it really well, and you probably have a budget down. I have the best app to tell you about right now. And even if you are really in tune with your personal finance or you're not, this app is definitely worth checking out. So let's get right into the video. So my new year's resolution for 2020 was to become more financially responsible. Yeah, I definitely was not being smart with my money when I first started working. I was kind of just like throwing my money. Every time I got paid, I was like, oh yes, let's go. I can buy some more things. And that is not smart at all. So don't do what I did. All right, guys, in an effort to become more financially responsible, I tried out so many different budgeting apps. Uh, Mint was the first one I ever tried. Then I tried YNAB and then I also tried Truebill. So those are three budgeting apps I tried and hands down, Copilot is the best budget app that I've ever used and I would 110% recommend it to everybody with an iPhone and here's why. All right, so let me start off with some general information about Copilot. Uh, so number one, it was actually started by a bunch of ex Google engineers um, and you can definitely tell when you use the app, the app is so nice, so beautiful, so easy to use. So the app is free to download. However, there is a subscription that you need to pay for. So if it's $9 a month, if you do the month to month plan, or you could pay $70 for the year, which ends up being about like $5.83 a month. Um, so I'm paying for the $70 a year plan. $9 a month is a little expensive, but $5.80 a month is not that bad. I can definitely swing that. The reason why I don't mind paying for this app is because I used Mint as my first budget tracking app. That app was free to use, but that was there was a reason for that. And it's because they crammed so many ads within the little user interface that they had. There was basically an ad almost everywhere you swiped. Last thing I wanna say about this app is it is on iPhones only. So if you're an Android user, unfortunately you can't use this app. But let's get started, let's get right into the app. So first of all, number one, the, the first thing you wanna do is start setting up. So setting up is really simple and easy and that's what I love about this app is you can easily log into all your bank account, credit cards or any financial institution that you use, you can basically connect it to Copilot very easily. And once you start connecting your accounts, Copilot will start pulling in all your transactions um, and they'll start to recognize which ones are bills, which ones are subscriptions. And yeah, it's everything starts getting set up really quickly, really easily. Even your investment accounts. So if you want to connect your TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, you can definitely do that in Copilot. Coinbase and crypto is also supported in the app. So if that's your thing and you want to keep track of that all in one place, you could definitely do that. However, I would start off with the bare essentials when you start just make sure you get your checking account, your savings account connected in there. Make sure you get all your credit cards that you use on a daily basis in there so that you could really start tracking every single transaction that comes through because that's really the key to budgeting is tracking where your money goes. And once you get all the account integration set up, next step is to start setting up your budget. So just quick disclaimer right now, this is not financial advice at all. I'm not a financial expert, but a lot of financial experts do recommend that everybody follows the 50, 30, 20 rule. So what that means is 50% of your monthly income should go to your necessities. So that means rent, utilities, any bills you pay. Then 30% of your money should go for your wants. So that includes dining out, going to the bar, uh, your subscriptions, Netflix, Spotify, those are all wants, not needs. <laughs> so 30% of your money should go towards that. And then lastly, the most important part of this rule, I believe, is that 20% of your money, your monthly income is being saved every single month. I think that's the key right there. So the way I started off with uh, setting up Copilot was I calculated what 20% of my monthly income was. So for an example here, let's say that you make $2,000 a month. So 20% of $2,000 would be $400. Every month, $400 should immediately go into your savings account or wherever you wanna put your savings into. So that leaves you with $1,600 to spend. So basically the 80% of the money that you have left is what you wanna enter as your monthly budget into Copilot. So you wanna open up Copilot, swipe over to the category section, and from right here, you see your total budget on the right-hand side, so click on that number, type in the budget for your month. So in our example here, with a $2,000 monthly income, our budget is going to be no more than $1,600 is the amount we wanna spend in a given month. So once you set up what your monthly budget is, from there you can go in and start editing each of these categories. So definitely click into rent, 
uh, tell them how much you want your rent to be. So let's say your rent is, um, let's just say your rent is $1,000 a month. So definitely go ahead and save that. So, so after rent, so we have about $600 left to spend. So from there, we can say, okay, shopping, I wanna only spend maybe um, $100 a month. So once you get your account set up and you set up a budget for yourself and you set up your categories, that's when it starts getting a little fun. So my favorite part about Copilot is the UX and UI. I love this. This is why I chose this app over any other app. This is probably the main reason. So let's go through a quick walkthrough of the user interface for Copilot. Starting off all the way to the left, you see our account. This tab right here is a nice, easy way to see all your financial accounts that you connected to Copilot all in one view. So you get a nice view of your credit cards, the balance for each of them. You can see your checking accounts, your saving accounts all right here. You can also see your investing accounts all right here. So it's a really nice view to just see everything all at once. And I love that. Then scrolling through, going moving on to transaction. This is kind of where I spend a lot of my time within the app here. This is where you can get your monthly reports every single month. So you can see here, um, our main monthly report, we saw total income was 2,800, we spent 2,600. Uh, so we were a little bit over budget for um, for the month of May. Um, and then you can go in and open your daily view to see how you went through your budget. So wow, we definitely went over budget for a bunch of things for this month. Um, and then you can see your cash flow at the end, which I love. I, I, this is like my favorite feature. Like, of course, we want to make sure that you spend less than what you make every month. So yeah, the transactions. And then if you continue scrolling down, you can see all your recent transactions. So you can see we got Starbucks, Walmart, Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell probably shows up a lot here because I really, really love Taco Bell. And one of the best things about this, it's so easy to edit transactions within here. So for example, Nintendo, um, if we had, if we wanted to change this category to something else, we could easily do that. We could easily make that a subscription, for example, and change that. Um, so this is what I love. I have um, my Venmo account connected to my my primary bank. And with that, whenever I use Venmo to pay somebody or I receive money in any way, it all shows up within this transaction list. And I can easily go to each Venmo transaction and then assign it to a specific thing. So for example, if I paid somebody back for, for a dinner that I went to, I could easily click on that Venmo charge and then assign it to the restaurants category or the food and drink category, for example. And I love that because Venmo is, you know, something I use on a daily basis. So being able to categorize each of my Venmo transaction really helps me with uh, keeping track of my budget and making sure that it doesn't all, you know, go under the rug and not being tracked because that, that would be a huge L for me. Another thing I love is how you can easily split payments within the transaction tabs here. Let's go back to that Taco Bell. So I actually went to Taco Bell with a couple of my friends. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this whole $13 charge I'm getting is actually, I didn't pay for all that. I split that with some of my friends. So I could easily go in, click that split button, and then I can say, oh, my friend's food costed about $5 or something. Um, and then I could easily click on that and say exclude $500 here. So when I press save, I only the $8 gets charged as part of my spending and then the $5 that my friend paid and is gonna pay me back for uh, doesn't get added to my spending. So therefore it, it really makes everything so, so accurate. And I this is like, this is something that I did not see in any other uh, app that I use. So I love this feature, it's amazing. So moving on through the next tab and we have the a dashboard. So every time you open up the app, this is actually the first view you see. Uh, so you can see here the chart at the top shows how you're doing in terms of your spending for the month. So are you actually keeping track with your budget? Um, so as of right now, you can see that we're $423 under our budget. So you see the line is completely straight. Uh, that basically means that we haven't spent any money this year. So awesome. But as you spend money, that chart does, it does move around a little bit. So the goal here, when you look at this chart is that you want the point on that chart to be below the dotted line. The dotted line kind of shows you how much you can spend per day. So as of right now, as of filming this video, if I spent $400 today, I would still be below budget for the month. And so the, basically this chart shows you how much money you can spend per day and not be over budget. And then of course, if you do end up being over, it'll definitely tell you like, hey, you're over $50 here. It'll, it'll turn that green color into red. So 
I definitely love the visuals of it. It definitely helps me a lot and keeps me in check when it comes to spending money. Moving on next is we have the categories view. Now I love this is again, we just talked about this view, but this is where you can go in and set up that monthly budget for yourself. You can see how well you're doing. So you can see how much you spent so far and what your total budget is. So it's like a nice little quick view of like where your money is going per category, which I love. And then lastly, we have the recurring tab. So this kind of shows you where all of your subscriptions kind of show up here. So you can see the Hulu, Netflix, Spotify, um, any other subscription that you have will show up within this view. So it's a really nice, easy way to just keep check of everything. But all right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my review of the Copilot budgeting app. I really enjoy using this app, so I want to make a video about it because I know personal finance and budgeting are really important things that everybody should learn how to do. And the Copilot budgeting app definitely makes it really easy for everybody. Download the app, try out the demo mode, use my code if you want to sign up, uh, and we both will get a free month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this content, be sure to let me know by pressing the like button, and also be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.